Hey, hey, back again, I see. Well, we're still going to talk about the things that, that you are and what God is. I don't want to recap it again because I want to get into the good stuff now. Let's start off right now with what you're thinking and how you're feeling. First of all, if you were raised as a Catholic, a Protestant, a, uh, a Christian, of course, a uh, Jehovah Witness, a uh, uh, Latter-day Saint, Mormon, uh, uh, Muslim, you name it, then you have a lot of belief system. You have a, a lot of beliefs and things. Some of these things are, are based on semi-truths, some are based on truths, and some are based on out-and-out -out lies, false, draw, frauds. And that's up to you to decide what's right for you. I find that fear is a real motivator and all religions have learned how to use fear for the simple thing of called control. Why do they need to control us? Well, politics controls us. So many things control us. Street lamps control us. I uh, do a lot of studying when I'm out driving and, and I read a lot, especially when I come to a stoplight. I get a chance to read my book. I don't text or or do telephoning, but I do like to catch up on my reading that way. Never worry too much, because when the light changes, the guy behind me always lets me know, and then I get going again. And that's kind of the way it is in life, isn't it? We, we, we kind of get stalled. We get stalled by believing something, a myth, that has become a fact. For instance, centuries ago, we believed that the world was flat. Well, if you went to the edge of the world, you'd fall off and nobody would ever see you again. <laughs> well, they, they misproved, they disproved that. They come around that the uh, world is round, more or less. Not real round, but not a complete ball, but pretty good, pretty close. And um, they uh, now we know for a fact, now old Galileo, remember him? Uh, they have a telescope up there named after Galileo, but you see, he figured it out that that uh, we circle the sun. Well, up until he got that idea, everybody said the sun circled us. We were the important things, and consequently, everything had to revolve around us. That's kind of the way it is with people. They think the world revolves around them. Well, let me tell you something right now. He was punished for that by the church. They said, you're a heretic, you crazy man, you, you, you go to jail. Get on an island, stay by yourself, teach you a lesson. And he finally said, all right, I agree. We, we uh, have the sun circling us. Oh, he knew that was a lie too. You see, fear does that to people or punishment or, or not getting what you should be getting. It's all part of it. That's part of the way that the controls are. Politics, laws, they're all there. But you don't have to believe that like Galileo. You can know within your heart what's right or wrong. I'm not asking you to give up your ignorance, your faith, because most people will fight to the death to protect that. They want to believe. They want to feel it. But that word alone, belief, is just loaded with doubt. You don't need to believe anymore. You can know something for a fact. You can research it. You can hear people like me talking and people like other people talking that try to control you. Send all your money. Hey, uh, I've watched these, some of these TV evangelists and uh, it's amazing how they work their people for the money. If you plant a seed here, it'll grow forever. Well, let me tell you, if you want to send me money, that's all right. But it ain't going to grow because you send it to me. The only thing that'll happen, I'll probably use it to promote this site so more people will get a chance to think for themselves, to make a decision. You're a godlike person. You're everything in the small God is in the large. Everything good was meant for you. All you got to do is express God in action, and that's love in action. Keep it in action. Don't keep it to yourself. Be forgiving and loving and kind and considerate. That's all it takes. And things will come to you in ways that you won't believe. And that's the truth. Oh, giving is a very important part of it. Sure it is. Yeah, the more you give, the more you get. That's just the law. It's the way it works. You plant a few seeds in the ground, they do grow. I admit that. But not just because some minister or 
preacher says you got to do it here, you got to do it there. You do it in many, many ways. The, the tip you leave for the server at the restaurant, the tip you give your gardener, those things are all giving. What you give, the, the highest form of giving is to give anonymously to something you don't even know where it's gone. Wow, what giving that is. That's faith. Oh, we're going to talk about faith too. And that'll be our next week. We're going to talk about faith and, and nope and hope. There it is. My alarm went off and I'm all done for this week. I do hope this stimulated your thinking. God bless you all and thank you for allowing me to share.